In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a simple random sample using Excel's RAND function. Okay, so let's say the problem is the following. Let's say a registrar at a post-secondary institution wants to know more about the applicants who apply to enter their BBA program for the upcoming fall semester so that they can better target the customer segments. Um, BBA is Bachelor of Business Administration, if you're wondering. Okay, question. How do we perform a simple random sample to select 30 of the applicants below? So let's say, for example, registrar or whoever's touching this data, um, they have um, made it anonymous uh, and all that is recorded are the uh, unique identifiers here for each applicant, like an applicant ID, if you will. Okay, so we're gonna select 30 of the applicants. Here's how we can do it. Um, so one of the ways to do this is to generate a random number by using the equals rand call in Excel. So just equals rand, and then we can just double click to fill this the whole way down. This little green box right there, just hover over it and double click. And it generates a random number for each of the applicants. Okay, now that's technically a pseudo random number. It's not perfectly random. It's pseudo random, it's called. Um, still pretty good though. Okay, and now every time I hit enter, these numbers will change. So let's just copy them. So I'm gonna highlight them all I hit control shift down to highlight them from the top or from the bottom up, control shift up, hold the shift key, go down one. I've highlighted them all, copy them, and then right click and paste special to just keep the numbers and get rid of the rand call within them. It's not totally necessary, but I like to do this just to freeze the numbers, if that, if you will. Otherwise, every time I hit enter, I will get new numbers. Now I'm just going to highlight all of the data again. You can just highlight it all, or you can use your control shift up to get all the data. Or from the top, control shift down. Okay, and then go to the data tab. And then go to sort. And I'm going to sort by, notice I grabbed the headers as well. And notice that I checked off my data has headers. And then I'm going to sort by these random numbers. And click OK. And now all I'm going to do is just grab the first 30 of these values. I don't need to do this, but I'm going to just make uh, random numbers to do the one and the two and pull that down or double click down to um, just make numbers counting up from one for those. And here is my sample all the way up to 30 now. So if I wanna grab the first 30 data, I'm just gonna grab the first 30 sorted by these random numbers so that it's random which ones I'm truly grabbing or pseudo random. Well, and my sample is now just these first 30 right here. Beautiful. So, so this is a sample of 30 students selected using a simple random sample. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, check the description below for the link in how to access this file.